All right, so currently I've got these little carbon pieces right here, carbon trim. We've got some more carbon trim there, and then we've also got uh, carbon fiber paddle shifters. And then final little piece here. This is what we're gonna be installing today. Um, you see that carbon right there? This is gonna go right there and cover up the gauge cluster. So this is kind of what it looks like right now, just like that black plastic, which is okay. But here is what it'll look like with this on. Obviously I gotta stick it in, but just that alone, that looks pretty cool. You've got now some carbon there, some more carbon there. It looks really nice to look at even through here. So pretty solid stuff. We're gonna be installing this one um, real quick. I'll show you guys what it looks like afterward. And then we'll have a pretty solid carbon interior. Like the only thing that we're maybe missing is this. I think they make this all carbon. Um, and then also this. However, I, I was really wanting to get this center tunnel in carbon, but then I saw a video from someone else and they were saying that it kind of looks a little plasticky when it's like all here. And now that I was thinking about it, I think it actually could do that. Um, I don't think it looks too bad here because this is usually like an aluminum. Um, and having it there just looks nice. It's subtle and there's those little trims there. There's obviously still like aluminum there and in there. At least that brushed aluminum look. Um, but I think having it like here in the gauge cluster, here in the sides, the paddles, it's just subtle. Um, the paddles I really like because they're also a lot longer. The normal paddles will stop like right there where that line is. So I gain an extra like inch, maybe a little bit more width. And then same at the bottom down here, I gain like easily, it's hard to tell, but easily two inches, maybe an inch. I don't know, but you gain a good chunk with the bottom, which I really like. So I'm going to install this real quick and I'll see you guys when I'm done. After removing lots of 3M tape, we got it on there. It looks really solid. I can't even tell where it was plastic. I mean, obviously right behind it, but like I can't see any plastic. It covers it all really, really well. Let me get a flashlight here. So that looks pretty solid. Look at that. Completely covers the plastic. Check out up top. Completely covers all that. Swoops down here, covers that really nice and flush. Matches all the other carbon bits, which is awesome. And yeah, I mean, it looks really solid. Check that out. Let me hop out real quick. Show you guys what it looks like from over there. But I mean, overall, this was a really easy install. It was just removing lots of uh, 3M tape and then uh, lining it up right. But so this over here. Yeah, check that out. Not bad at all. Search, but you stay lost. All right, so now we're cleaning the car. Um, just wanted to get a couple of shots here. Check this out. So I got this new wheel cleaner. I don't know if you can tell, but it's turning purple. So this stuff is actually ridiculously good. There's a store local to us called Jack's Wax, and this Jack's Ultimate wheel cleaner is like some of the best wheel cleaner I've ever had. So basically it sprays on, like you can see, it sprays on green. Leave it on there for a little bit, then once it turns purple, because it'll turn purple, you scrub it off with this wheel cleaner, kind of like a wire cleaner, and from there, and it looks like this. And look at how much like brake dust comes off of these cars. It's actually crazy. So, try to see if I can not get the camera wet. Look at all that. <laughs> That's wheel one. It works though, it gets everything off. It looks real good. Wheel two. We're gonna do the whole car, but you're gonna see how good that does. It's crazy. And third one, 
Look, look at all that sludge coming down right there. You'll see at like the bottom of the driveway, it piles up with this stuff. I don't know if it's really healthy. I mean, definitely not, but look at all that. <laughs> this car produces like a ridiculous amount of brake dust. That's probably one thing I'd eventually maybe at least think about getting is some different brakes. So anyway, did the wheels, shut the outside of the car just a little wet. And what I'm gonna do now is actually just clean it with some soap and whatnot, dry it off, pretty simple. So this thing's all finished. I think it looks pretty cool. It finishes the look of everything in here. You know, we got the carbon trim here, there, on the passenger side, and then right there on both of the seats. So that looks pretty cool. And then what was also really crazy is the key that I got. I got a little uh, carbon fiber cover for it if it decides to focus. And this is actually really cool. So I don't know. I think it's subtle, it's not like it's too much carbon where it just looks crazy, but I think it looks really, really nice. The other thing, the only other part of the car that has carbon is back here, once this hatch opens up. And this is another thing I think that basically everyone should get if they have a convertible, it is so dirty, <laughs> is um, this clear cover right here, which is really, really easy to install. The normal C8 comes with, and I posted about this in my other video, but carbon fiber, carbon fiber just reminded me of it. Um, it comes with like a black heat shield. Um, so instead I just got this clear one. So you can actually see in there, you can see like the headers and whatnot, the glare isn't that great, but the headers are right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, the only thing that was kind of weird to me and it may just be a design thing, which isn't a big deal. This oil, I don't know if this is the oil. Yeah, but this oil thing just doesn't close all the way. You see that? And I don't know if it's because, I don't know why. It is kind of weird that this thing is poking out like that. I don't know if it was always like that or what, but, um, yeah, and I haven't had any problems with like this heating up too much. When the top folds back in, I haven't had any problems with the headliner. If I even got a good shot of that. Yeah, with the headliner up there, I haven't had any problem with that like overheating or anything. So I think it looks really nice. It's great for car shows. So now at a car show, I can basically pull this thing up, leave it propped open when I go and walk around and look at the other cool cars and people can see the engine. I definitely need to clean it though. I'm not sure if yeah, it's definitely on top. I'm gonna try clean it in a second, do a little uh, before and after to see what it looks like. But the last thing I wanna say is something that I really believe almost every like C8 should ideally have on it, and that's these side skirts right here. I think every C8 should have a side skirt. When I see a normal C8 driving around with or without even a wing, I think they look so bare without this. And I mean, I mean, it doesn't physic, I mean, it physically makes it look a little bit wider than what it looks like stock, right? You're adding, I don't know, maybe an inch, if that, up here. Maybe a couple inches here, and then it flares out back there. I think it offsets it really nice. I think any C8 should just come with these to begin with. It just looks so much nicer. And then obviously you can get like the splitter. So it matches everything. You got the splitter on this side. But you got the side skirt over here, which is really nice. And I think it just offsets it. It makes it look really good. And that's why I got the black Z06 wing. I could have gotten a carbon fiber one, but no other part on the car was carbon fiber. Everything was just the uh, carbon flash. So I think that made a lot of sense. I'm gonna try clean that now and show you guys what it looks like afterward. Finish that up. Just use some like glass cleaner and a towel and it looks a lot better. Probably at some point I will remove this, clean it, and then put it right back. But it looks a lot better than it did before. A lot gets caked on here while it's just sitting here. And I just realized that there's a T15 screw over there like completely undone. I'm gonna go fix that. Let me know what you guys think. It's completely clean. And then like I said, 
I think every C8 should have these side skirts. It just looks so much better. So let me fix this T15. And then the last thing I'm going to do is try to, I'm trying to figure out what car next I should get for the channel. I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about it in a little bit. Let me fix this T15. Let me know what you guys think about this. I've talked about this in another video. Let me know what you guys think about the carbon trim in there.